Welcome back, everyone. I'm Shannon from StarsNearMe.com, and I'll be your adventure guide here on your way to becoming star sighted. It's time to get lit. Our first lesson to learn the summer season star constellations of the night sky in the northern hemisphere will help you learn when and where to find the first two constellations we're going to focus on here, Ursa Major, or the Great Bear, and Leo the Lion. We're also in this process going to be taking a look at probably the most well-known and easiest for most people to identify star grouping, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, called the Big Dipper. And that's because what is known as the Big Dipper is actually something known in the astronomy realm as something called an asterism, which is a part of a larger star constellation. In this case, the Big Dipper is an asterism of the larger star constellation known as Ursa Major or the Great Bear. Now this black screen of nothingness you're looking at here is what you're usually going to get if you go outside and try to take a photo or a video. Definitely this will happen if you try to do this with your phone camera of the stars in the night sky. And usually you're going to end up with the same thing even if you do this with a pretty decent camera. Like for instance, I've been a photographer for many years so I have a pretty decent camera but a lot of times when I go outside and take my pretty decent camera with me and try to take any photographs of star constellations or anything really in the night sky, I end up with this exact same black screen of nothingness. This is a big contributing factor for why I think the subject of the stars in the night sky has been more of a challenge to teach someone else. It's very difficult when you can't show somebody here, do you see what I see? <laughs> this is why we designed this beginner video course and why we wrote the Constellations by Campfire series, from which in this lesson we're going to be taking our information from today. The Constellations by Campfire series is a great resource and it can be used as a companion workbook for the video course here. You can get the ebook version instantly from our website, just head over to starsnearme.com and you can find it in our shop. The information we're starting with in this first lesson will work to identify Ursa Major or the Great Bear and the Big Dipper within it and Leo the Lion specifically during the month of June in the Northern Hemisphere. So these are constellations that we're going to look at in the summertime night sky in the Northern Hemisphere. And we're doing it at a specific time of the day as well. This is going to be for the first two hours after sunset. We're going to get back to the specifics on this in just a minute. But the first thing we need to do is to orient ourselves correctly to be able to easily identify these and future star constellations that we're going to look at. And this is going to hold for every other lesson that is going to follow. We're always going to be looking at the same direction or the same place in the sky, and that's due south. We're going to get even deeper into why this is so important as we go forward also in future lessons, but for now, we're just going to orient ourselves easily due south without any compass or need for any other technology. Some other quick tips. You obviously are going to have more success in stargazing if you do this on a clear night. Obviously, clouds will impede your vision of the stars, so you want to make sure that a clear night is when you choose to do this. Higher elevations work better. It helps to see over tree lines, but if you're in a location where the tree line isn't a problem, then that works too. And the third thing you want to consider is you want to make sure that you're in an area with very low light pollution. This includes even local light pollution, like even the headlights of your car or your truck may even be too much. It's also another reason why we titled our book series Constellations by Campfire. The natural light of campfire is probably the only light source that will not be an impediment to a good stargazing experience. All right, so what we're going to do to find due south is we're going to use this next uh, screen here that you see, this next image, to help us out. You find due south very easily by, you know you're facing it, if on your left side, the sun rose in your area that day, and on your right side, the sun set the night before in your area. So again, just to say it in a different way, if you didn't catch it the first time, you know you're facing due south if on your left side, the sun 
rises and on your right side, the sun sets. This arc of the ecliptic is obviously an imaginary line on this image, but it's where everything rises and sets, everything as in the sun, the moon, and all the known planets, and all the known constellations of the zodiac. So this is why this is such an important place for us to focus on, because it just happens to be that all of the major luminaries of the nighttime sky all rise in the east and set in the west along this very narrow band known as the arc of the ecliptic in the sky. Where the arc of the ecliptic crosses the other imaginary line in this image in the sky, it's known as the north-south meridian line. The arc of the ecliptic crosses the north-south meridian line and that helps orient us in this lesson and future lessons as well and gives us the best viewpoint from which to take a look at all of the star constellations that we're going to be learning about here in this beginner video course. So for this specific lesson, you want to know that the information that we're going to present here where we're looking at identifying Ursa Major or the Great Bear, the Big Dipper, and Leo the Lion, this will all hold for the month of June in the Northern Hemisphere. So keep in mind that everything in the nighttime sky along this arc of the ecliptic, night over night, is going to be found more westward than you found it the night before. But it moves slowly, right, and incrementally, night over night. So in general, you can find these star constellations that we're going to focus on here at the start, Ursa Major and Leo the Lion in the same general location throughout the month of June in the Northern Hemisphere. The reason I keep repeating the Northern Hemisphere is because we will also learn as we get deeper into these lessons that there are parts of the sky that are going to appear differently. Uh, uh, that depends on whether you're a viewer in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. For example, Ursa Major, the Great Bear, and the Big Dipper within it is only visible for viewers looking at the stars from a location on the ground in the Northern Hemisphere. Those people in the Southern Hemisphere, for example, Australians, if they're looking up at the sky, they're too far south geographically on Earth to be able to see Ursa Major or the Big Dipper at all. And it also works in reverse. There are stars and star constellations. If you're looking up at the night sky from a location on the ground in Australia that we are never able to see here in the Northern Hemisphere because those star constellations are too far south for us to see them. All right, so keep in mind also that we're looking at a small 2D representation of the actual sky above our heads. So the higher up north is how you want to think of this as the higher up north the north-south meridian line you're looking at at these constellations in the images what's going to happen when you're outside and you're looking at the actual sky above your head your eyes are going to move up from the level of the horizon more up so that's north in other words that's how you're going to orient yourself all right, so in other words, you can expect that you're going to see these constellations that are going to also look much bigger and much more spread out from how they appear in the 2D image representations than how they appear in reality in the actual sky above your head. And also you want to keep in mind, depending on the amount of light pollution in your area, some of these stars may be too dim for you to be able to make out, but the brighter ones, you should be able to. All right, so focusing on the first two hours after sunset throughout the month of June, what you're going to do is when you're facing due south, the easiest to find first is going to be the Big Dipper. So you want to look very high in the sky 
So you're going to look up north and you're going to go to look more toward the west. So your right hand side. And if you do that, you should be able to identify looking like it's pouring out wonderful nighttime blessings over you or over your house, the Big Dipper. And see if you can identify, once you can find the Big Dipper, if you can find the additional stars that make up the entire constellation known as Ursa Major or the Great Bear. Once you've oriented yourself that way, then below the location of where you found the Big Dipper and Ursa Major or the Great Bear, you should be able to identify rather easily the very large constellation known as Leo the Lion. It's easier for me to identify this constellation if from going a little bit down from the Big Dipper's location, still looking to my right or to the west along the arc of the ecliptic, you will see the big square of the body of Leo the lion and the end or the tail, the triangle part of Leo the lion. And if you can find those two pieces of Leo first, it's easier to find the head stars of Leo that do appear sometimes more dim than does the body of the constellation of Leo the lion. All right, so I think that's a great place to start. Get out there tonight, first two hours after the sun goes down, and see if you can identify Ursa Major, the Big Dipper within it, and Leo the Lion to start with. They're going to be more to the direction of your right or to the west. Let us know down in the comments if you're able to locate Ursa Major, the Big Dipper, and Leo the Lion tonight. And we will see you back here very soon for our next lesson. Visit starsnearme.com to sign up for our private email list and be notified of our latest posts like this one here. You can become part of our free beginner course that's just started. More information about it all can be found, again, on our website, starsnearme.com. The space to become star-sighted. Until next time, stay lit and be well.